mayor. Christina Laurie is looking ahead to Baldwin's next six years in Congress. Good morning, Christina. Good morning, Danica. A decisive victory it was for Tammy Baldwin in a state that helped carry President Donald Trump to victory on election night two years ago. Overnight, Democratic Senator Tammy Baldwin defeated Republican challenger Leah Vukmir 55% to 45%. It was a history-making matchup, the first time two women have ever run against each other for a U.S. Senate seat here in Wisconsin. With Baldwin's win, she will head to Washington for her second term. There, the returning senator says she will continue to work to protect protect the rights of people living with pre-existing conditions, secure better trade deals for farmers, fight climate change, and to do right by workers and veterans. Overnight Baldwin reminded her supporters their work is not done. In order to fix what's broken with Washington, and in order to fix what is broken with our divisive politics, you all need to stay engaged. You cannot stop with this victory. You cannot stop because I can assure you that the special interests won't. The election was called for Baldwin just four minutes after the polls closed last night. Bukmir called Bald Baldwin shortly after and thanked her supporters too. We ran hard and we ran as underdogs and we knew that all along. Baldwin's campaign outraised Vukmir's by $24 million, but both candidates had support from big-name politicians, with former President Obama stumping for Baldwin and President Donald Trump campaigning for Vukmir. Even with Senator, Vuk Senator Baldwin's win, rather, Republicans' control of the Senate will grow by at least two seats and by as many as five, with several races much closer than this one in states across the country. Interesting, though, we were talking earlier, polls accurately predicted mm -hmm. the outcome of this race with Baldwin comfortably yeah. winning. And after 2016, people weren't sure what to expect. Absolutely. Exactly. We'll see what happens in the next two years. All right, Christina Laurie reporting for us this morning. Thank you, Christina. 638. Right now, there are several school districts will, that will have the money they need to build a